Oh, hello wild ones. I'm here in the woods today for a lovely tarp camp. I've got a down blanket to try for the first time and I'm gonna show you my maps. So today I'm gonna to be using a DD super light tarp and I'm gonna be putting it up in a lean-to configuration. So I need to pop up a ridge line between these two trees here now these trees are quite far apart so i'm just hoping i've got enough ridge line with me and these trees are oaks so you have got to be careful with oaks with any tree actually that when you're camping underneath them there's nothing that could fall on you and splat you but looking at this i think if i camp right in the middle where the branches are very thin at the ends if anything does fall you know it's going to give me a bit of a slap on the way down but nothing catastrophic hopefully so let's get this ridge line up me ridge line up so let's get this tarp up I've got a couple of prosics already attached to my ridge line here pull it nice and tight so it's just started to rain which is unexpected but really lovely to be under this tarp with the rain coming down so I've got the tarp attached to my ridge line with little carabiners. You don't have to use carabiners, of course. You can just thread the ridge line through the tarp before you connect it at the other end, but I didn't do that, so I clipped it on with carabiners. And I have taken this middle tie point here and pulled it back to another tree right over there to give lots of headspace under here. So lots of room, really nice, and we'll see if it keeps me dry. I was expecting a dry night tonight, so. This is fun, I wonder if it's just a shower or we're in for a rainy night. The rain stopped now by the way, so it was just a shower. It was very lovely while it lasted. So tonight I haven't bought a sleeping bag, I've got a down blanket. So this is the One Tigress single size. I've not used a down blanket before, I have used non-down synthetic blankets before and I do find it needs to be quite warm for me to be warm enough so we'll see how this goes. The recommended temperature on this is 8 degrees to 25 degrees and I believe tonight it's going to be around 13 so that should be perfect. Technically I'm a very cold sleeper though but we'll see how we go. So the weight of this is 735 grams which is lighter than my lightest sleeping bag so if this does keep me warm it will be a great option for summer if it doesn't, it would just be nice to sort of sit and put around me, around a fire or something. Put loads of burn holes in it. So there is 300 grams of down in this and it has a fuel power of 600. Something that I really like about this already is even if you're not using it to sleep with, put it around your shoulders and it's got these little poppers down the front. Look! So you can be all floofy, never be cold again. Right, I can't get out. I think it's time to show you my baps. Got some lovely ingredients out. So I'm gonna be showing you my baps today in aid of Karen Gone Wilds, show us your baps hashtag in aid of breast cancer awareness. So ladies, always check your boobs. If you find anything that is unfamiliar to you or different, please get it checked out. Um, I've had to be checked in the past and thankfully it's been nothing nefarious, but the process was easy and straightforward and it is always worth checking it, better safe than sorry. With that said, let's get on making some baps. So Karen, of course, is the queen of the baps. I'm hoping my more humble offering will be just as delicious. So today I'm gonna to be making some chicken and bacon baps. They're gonna be so good. Also got this. Thank you, Karen, pink lady for that. On now. Oh yeah. So I've got some lovely chicken breast. I'm gonna fry that up with some seasoning. I've got lettuce, bacon, iri piri sauce, and some mayo. And me baps, of course. Right, let's get this cooking. layering up these bad boys. Chicken. Here we 
Pirri Pirri on there as well. Oh my god, they look incredible. So, here's my maps. Mm. That is a damn good map. Just been laying down, chilling under my blanket, which feels really comfy by the way. And there was a bug crawling in my hair. And I've been looking around and there's loads of them all over the place. They're quite big, they're about that long. I think they might be devil's coach horse beetles, which can give a nasty bite apparently. So I don't want them crawling all in my hair and stuff tonight or getting on my face. So I'm gonna wear my bug net to bed tonight. The thing is with the blanket, I am kind of open to things crawling under the blanket. I'm gonna have my socks pulled up and tucked over my trousers and just all my clothes tucked into each other. So hopefully it'll be fine. Yeah, it's definitely a creepy crawly night tonight. I'm gonna have a hot drink, I think, and get ready for bed. Bye guys, see you in the morning. beautiful morning. It's so nice to wake up and have all the heather and the oak trees. So I slept for about seven hours last night which is fine. This blanket, I really like it. I was just warm enough. I wouldn't want to go colder than what was it last night? 13, 14 degrees. I wouldn't want to go colder than that with it. Although it does say it's suitable for 8 to 25 degrees but it wouldn't be okay at 8 for me. Definitely not. 13, 14 is fine. I think it'll be time to make some breakfast soon. I've got bacon left over, so I'm gonna have some bacon bats. Just making my chocolate coffee first. Can't be bacon bap in the woods. So you'll see my baps twice for this video. Piri Piri left over from last night, so chuck that in there. Apologies to the brown sauce crew. I'm about to break your heart. Yes. Cheers. That was a delicious breakfast. So I'm gonna get packed up, I think. This blanket really like i doubt i'll be using it again by itself this year because we're getting into september now it's going to start getting cooler and i wouldn't want to go any cooler than tonight with this but it would be great to lay it up with a sleeping bag on a really really cold night like if you're going into minus temperatures i have got the snug pack jungle blanket for that purpose as well they're around the same weight the jungle blanket is 700 grams this one is 735 I think so this one's slightly heavier this one's down the jungle blanket is synthetic really liking this thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you again soon bye